things that's come up and I don't want to be a Debbie Downer because I think a lot of the work that's come up is beautiful. I think you guys do an incredible job, but there's something I've seen the last uh, two competitions and also the, um, the cell phone case um, we'll review that we're doing as well. One thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people, when it came to jewelry um, or the metal bits on all the bags, people were literally taking the photograph, cropping it, putting into their image and smudging it a little bit and pretending it's their own, or they will directly draw over it and color it, but not change it at all. And I just want to say that that's in real life, that is a trademark. That's trademark. So you can't do that. That's um, something that a client will see and a client won't allow that to happen in real life. And if I'm noticing that you're copying directly, they're going to notice as well, because that's their, their um, pictures of the, the bags or the metal bits. So um, what I notice, especially on the snake, and I'm not pointing anyone out, that straight on view, everyone use that straight on view exactly as is. You can always go into Photoshop or Procreate and um, distort it, perspective, like change a perspective, change the way it's looking. Cause what the client is doing is they're hiring you to create a new vision for their, for their work. And if you're taking exactly the same angle and the exact same picture, that's not really doing it for them. And they're not gonna hire you because of that. So I just want to make sure, and another thing that's been coming up, and I'm, I'm going to say I do this as well, but you need to manipulate it. You're used, a lot of people I've seen using models off of um, Pinterest exactly as is. Um, again, those faces, those rights are owned by those models. So you got to be careful when you're doing stuff like that. So when I do it, I make sure that I pick a face. I change the lips, I change the makeup, I change the eyebrows, I change the hair, I change the hands, I change the outfit. You just make sure when you're you're using reference images that they're changing it enough that um, that it's not going to be an infringement on copyrights. So I just wanted to kind of share that because it's something I've been seeing a lot recently. So.